Coming in at number three, this is a, a guy that I was really pushing for. I think that he is a great pick this week at 28 to one. He is just an elite ball striker, especially with his irons. And we've already talked about the fact that precision is gonna be key this week, especially that approach shot into these small greens. And I just can't see past Daniel Berger. So we have him at number three. He could just, he could cause the big shakeup and the big steal in 2021. Yeah, Berger loves this place. And the reason he loves it, he, he, he came in late at Memphis. I think he shot like a 63 or four the last round and, and kind of backdoored the top 10 in Memphis. Of course, that he's won twice before and he's played the President's Cup here. I watched it. I watched Berger play good on this course. So. Again, you know, you've got to drive it good at this course and you can't be all over the place, you know, the way we've seen, for example, Bryson play, where he's in the rough a lot. You can't play this course that way. Small greens, got to get it up and down. Yes, I love this. Uh, I love Berger at three. He's 10th in the, in the Ryder Cup standings, 20th in the FedEx Cup standings. So, um, you know, Ryder Cup, great position. The top six, automatically are in and then Steve Stricker has six captain's picks so you have to think Berger is in already but I'm sure he would like to solidify that place. Yeah I think Berger's going to get a jersey for the Ryder Cup Diane he's plays good he's a good striker whistling straights will suit him um, as I said earlier in the show Diane the American team is in really good position Ryder Cup wise because all of the guys that they're thinking about picking are playing well with the exception of maybe Jason, uh, Jason Kokrak, who missed the cut last week. Uh, yes, Berger plays good on this golf course.